So what is a set driven key? Set driven key is something that helps you in animating to so you don't have to move all the joints to do stuff. Like let's say you want them to make a fist. You can, if you're animating, go in and select every one of them joints, set a key, all that stuff, that it would take forever. You don't want to have to do that because it'll take up too much time. You want to be able to select, you want a set driven key. I have a set driven key for a fist set up in this hand. If you, if you select it, you see in the, at, in the channel box I have the attribute fist. I click my middle mouse button. Oh. Click the middle mouse button, you can see his fist closes and opens. It closes and opens. And that helps me out a lot. Because I don't have to worry about moving them joints all the time. But how do you set up a set driven key? Well, first thing you have to do is add an attribute to your channel box. So select your control circle that you want for whatever body part you're wanting to use. Go in here, right click go down to add attribute click on it you get this that comes up add attribute I'm gonna name it point you have a minimum I'll say a minimum of zero a maximum of ten and a default of zero and you hit OK now you look there it popped up in my channel box point but that's fine but how do you set it up to do that? Well, go up, make sure you're under animation. Go to animate. Go to set driven key, set. And this window pops up. Select your driver, select your control circle, circle. Hit load driver, and it loads that circle. Scroll down to point and select it. Now you've selected the driver. Now you got to tell the Maya what joints you want the driver to drive so easiest way I found to do this is let's just go to x-ray mode first wait a minute let's go to x-ray mode so you can see through them let's click on the material mass so that you can't select the geometry you see that you can't select it so now you can just select the joints select the first joint shift select the rest of them that you need. Select all the joints you need to manipulate. Now you got them all. Go here, click load driven, and all those joints pop up. Select them all. And you can choose what you want to manipulate. I want to I want to be able to set all the rotates on all these joints. So you've got all that, hit key. It went through and keyed it. Now, select that circle. Go back to the channel box. Go back to point. Go to your maximum of 10. Hit enter. Now, select the joints that you want. See, I selected those three. Move it out. Move it up a little. That don't look right. Put in fingers a little. Just manipulate them to they're where you want them to be. Let me get out of X-ray mode so it'll be easier. You see there he's pointing now. That one finger is kind of off kilter a little. Um, well, you can mess with it till you get it to where you think it's right. And um, that looks pretty decent to me. Make sure you have all the joints selected. Hit key again. And now you've got your set driven key. Select your circle. Now go to point. Middle click your mouse button. There you go. You've got a set driven key set up that you can point. 
and this is something that you really really need to know when you're animating something that's how to set a set driven key because you do not want to have to go in and manipulate every one of these joints every time you want them to point every time you want them to make a fist you don't want to have to do that it simplifies things so much and that's how you go about making a set driven key I had to watch the video I got a good many times before I figured it out and yeah but it's something you really need to know and if you have to watch this a few times to get it I'd recommend watching it a few times to get it. I had to watch the video I watched to figure it out I had to watch it a good many times to figure it out but it's something you need to know for animating set driven key that's all I got to say. Um, Y'all have a nice day.